So I've been on YouTube for a couple years now, mostly just uploading AMVs and the such. I've never really uploaded videos that's more me, I guess, that isn't just anime. But today I I suppose I'd like to introduce you to myself. Was I named after anyone? Well, my name is Isabella and I was named after a great grandma who passed away unfortunately not long before I was born. I'll start this on a very cheery front. Uh, what's your favourite ice cream? Chocolate chip. So I've got the glasses. Do I wear contacts? Mm, I struggle putting them in my eyes a lot to the point I've only worn them once and that was for Halloween. They were coloured ones. Anyone who wears glasses all the time who doesn't wear contacts much can tell you that if you're not wearing your glasses you feel lost you've lo you've left your skin at home favorite food spike ball or fajitas uh what book am i reading right now uh i am reading the generals by simon Scar scarrow scarrow i think that's how you say his name would you say that you're an emotional person i am very emotional uh but i do struggle to understand other people's emotions sometimes I used to pray. I'm not religious in the slightest. I did when I was young and did a couple of years ago. So ultimately, I don't know, do what you want. What is your favourite movie or TV show to watch? Well, I, re I recently re-watched Game of Thrones with someone over the course of over a year at this point. Now that you know things going through it, even just something as small as the reigns of Castamere, they love using that song. I didn't know. I thought that was only in that. Mm. Is it spoilers at this point? The words Red Wedding. <laughs> to be completely honest, just stick some Disney on and I am happy. Where would my dream holiday be? The land of the wee. I'm not really interested in traveling. So it's like the only place I'm like, is on my bucket list to travel. And that's it. But do I drink and put thoughts of people on it? Well. Let's put it this way. I'm the person who brings J2O to parties. Do you prefer loud or quiet environments? Absolutely quiet. Do you like meeting new people? Of course, of course I like meeting new people. But I'm not a fan of meeting new people when I don't when they're in a group and I don't know anyone in the group. There have been a lot of situations where a friend of mine is like, oh I really want you to meet my friends from uh, dance. Seven of them show up at once. I just get easily overwhelmed. What do you think of people who skip school or education or anything like that? What What's the point? I know I'm going to sound like SWAT Central here. But the only times I've skipped lesson is either by accident, with written permission, is at a job interview or my auntie's wedding. Normally it's authorised. Describe your personality. I'm used to let say everything, but I try. <laughs> when people have prejudice, when people have prejudice, when people have prejudices, just gonna pretend I can say that word correctly. What do you think about them? In my opinion, most people, if not everyone, grow up with some kind of prejudices, and so it's not necessarily whether they have prejudices or not. It's a case of how willing they are to accept other people's realities and if it's necessarily a bad thing how well they are to admit that it's wrong what do you think of people who study a lot i respect them so much i wish i had that level of patience and motivation do you have any bad habits i procrastinate way too much do you have any biases against other people i don't think so as, as as general as it sounds, I try to be open-minded about people. Do you like surprises? Um, I don't know what that was. But I, I much prefer surprising other people, which I'm also bad at. What is your dream job? History teacher. What are your hobbies? Writing and drawing badly. What do you think of internet friendships? Well, considering at one point two of my best friends I had met online, though I am positive that i wouldn't be so close to them if i hadn't met them in person i'm sure we would never be anywhere near as close as we were if we hadn't done that so i think 
your relationship with someone on the internet can only amalgamate to so much it doesn't matter if you're talking on like voice chats or video calls or anything like that there's just another level of personal intimacy that can't be achieved and although that may sound uh quite sucky for this current situation that we are globally in so it's important to take that internet friendship into the real world per se do you like any weird food combinations mcdonald's fries in mcflurries what's the worst gcse result you got so i did fail my health and social care exam the first time but everyone in my class did and so we all had to reset it i think one person passed but that was one person in my entire year who took that thing so i think that was one out of 60 people or something like that uh, and i got four in french which which is a pass it's a it's the lowest possible grade you can't pass but like four and five are both equivalent of like c grades so four is a low c it, it, it's weird do you have any tips to get a good night's sleep <laughs> find someone with a really big comfy bed have it not be during a pandemic so you can spend at least three four nights a week there and then profit what do you all of us have with you well apparently my brain do you think karma really exists no just that good things happen bad things happen sometimes it can be comical in its timing but no what's your zodiac sign a naked man pouring water opinion on people who watch anime we can be so annoying we are so annoying what kind of job would you be terrible at anything to do with exploration the dark all right and doctor heights how did you become the way you are today some good people some not so good people would you say that there's anything you collect at this point books or magnets i love magnets what is happiness to you being with the people i love and having a good time god that's so cheesy so cheesy what's one thing you'll never experience having male genitalia what is one superpower that you'd most like to have confidence that that would be nice Ooh, a motivation Ooh, that'd be nice if you could create one universal rule what would it be take your shoes off in the goddamn house can people change yes but not overnight often reality has to come crashing down around them before any actual change can occur what is something you regret there are many things i could say but ultimately they made me the person i am today so whether or not i truly regret them is up for interpretation and whether or not i'm the person i am today is a good thing or not is also up for interpretation what is something i didn't like when i was younger but do now there are probably a lot of things like that but the only thing that comes to mind is probably milk <laughs> between the ages of around 9 to 15 i just didn't like milk at all I just refused to have it. To me, it just tasted like bad water. Maybe we we're just getting bad milk. Do you remember your first kiss? I am happy enough to let it sink into obscurity. What's the bravest thing you've ever done? I'd have to say, the 7th of August 2019, I faced my absolute massive fear of heights by climbing up a very, very tall beam with friends. The entire week I had been too scared to do anything that was involved in heights i have never been so proud of myself i i looked at my best friend that once i'd done it and i've never seen her so proud of me <laughs> god it's getting all emotional oh stop right what's the next question what's the best compliment i've ever gotten oh stop the sappy things <laughs> probably that i can make someone smile what's the point of life oh hitting question I don't think it's meant to be questioned just try and live your life and do everything you can that makes you happy and just don't worry about the complexities mm. comedy or horror film comedy absolutely no like I, I, absolutely <laughs> uh, no not a fan of uh, horror <laughs> how have your friends influenced your personality hey guys he remembers when I was sweet and innocent. Do you have any random advice? Don't walk in front of the screen when people are playing Mario Kart. Are you an ambitious person? I definitely can be sometimes, 
but I like to maintain a sense of realism. Who are you? Good question. Who am I? Who is anyone? But seriously though, I'm just an idiot who loves writing stories, hanging out with friends, and having social anxiety. Actually, that's not enjoyable. So yeah, that was 50 random weird facts you don't need to know about me, but now you do. Hope you enjoyed. I'm not gonna patronise you with the YouTube stuff. Bye.